All right. Hey, how's it going? I am back in my truck, as you can tell. It's hot than a mud. So, this is the thing. Oh, here. I have my printer here, right? If you're, I was told that I was gonna need one when I was at Mercer, but I was like, man, for what? Like, everything is automated with Mercer. It was like maybe in the four years, three years that I was there, I needed to print something out twice. Maybe three times. But when I was getting my own authority, I told myself, I need a printer in my truck. Because I'm thinking I have to print the Raycons. I don't. The Ray confirmations, I can wait till I get uh, back home and then print them out. Because all you really need on there is a pickup number. And, you know, you can just look on your phone and take that in and do that. And then if you're doing, if you're going to factor, which majority of people do, they factor, um, you're going to need a load number over there. But this is what I wanted to tell you. So, all right, let me see here. So I have my book, right? My uh, booklet. And this is my permit book, Right? These are all the states. So, you know, when you're a company guy, you drive for somebody, you, you have a whole bunch of permits. Well, this is considered your registration and your permit book. These are all the states that I'm legal to go in. Now, Kentucky, New York, New Mexico, and Oregon, I have to get uh, special permits. But this is pretty much my cab card. This is my insurance right here, my insurance paperwork right there. And um, oh, and that's my extra fuel card. This is my activation authority letter right here. Authority letter. Now, the thing about the authority letter, um, well, I'm just gonna get it right into it. So, I'm sorry, I have a friend. He's had his authority since maybe, let's see, 2012. I was still, I think he's had his authority since I was at Best Way. Ooh, 2012, 2014. Anyway, when I got my, when I got my authority and I started filling out packets, he told me that he hated filling out packets because you got to print them out, fill them out scan it back in and send it to him. I said, no, nah, everything is automated. You know, your first one, you're going to have to fill out, put in, and it's gonna put you in the RMIS system. I forgot what that stands for. That has something to do with the insurance. And it's like a central, it's like a central system that once you fill out one carrier packet and they input it, it goes straight to them, RMIS. So next time you fill out another carrier packet, excuse me, a lot of your information is already there. Different companies have different things they want you to fill out. So I have, I'm, I've filled out about maybe 15 carrier packets, right? Automated since, since February. But every now and then, I get some that I have to fill out, which means I have to print them out, right? This one is easy. This is only six pages. This one for BMAC is 25 pages, right? It's 25 pages. Now, all of that is not something that I have to fill out. A lot of that is the small fine print, the rules, the regulations. But you know, and I mean, I could have went through and said print such and such page, but I just print it all out, fill it out, scan it back in. These two, Tauber Logistics, BMAC, and I think there's another one, Trinity. They all needed my authority letter. Why? I don't know. I, here's something else about filling out your own authority. I mean, filling out carrier packets. You know how they say that um, your social security number is your identity, right? Don't give it out to anyone because somebody can take it. And then they tell you when you become a lease driver or you you get a tax ID number, federal employee ID number, employee ID number, it's all the same thing, right? They tell you, treat it like it's a social security number. You don't give it out to anybody. 
Well, guess what? When you're filling out these carrier packets, you're giving it out. You're giving, you're giving it, you're giving it out. So, it's kind of unnerving when you have to give your name, your address, your tax ID number, your authority letter, activation, and then your insurance. Oh, let me talk about insurance. So, <laughs> this is funny. When you, so you have insurance and some places require their name. So, all right, I'll put it like this. If you've ever had a truck, if you ever leased a truck from Schneider and took it to another company, you're going to know that Schneider wants to be on that insurance policy. They want their name on it. So they're the beneficiary of it, right? Well, I think that's how this works. I'm not quite sure. Certain places want to be the certificate of holder of insurance. Certificate, certificate of insurance holder. And it's a real easy thing. Well, at least for me, because I call, OIDA runs my insurance. So I call OIDA. Hey, how you doing, Sherry? Yeah, this is me. Um, yeah, I need you to put this other person's name on my insurance. I mean, I swear, these people out here just hung, money hungry. And what they do is tip, 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 tip. They say, do you want a copy of it? I say, yeah. They email me a copy of it. It takes like literally maybe two minutes. Well, if you want to count the whole time, the wait time and all that, maybe 10. But when you get it, it's nothing. So don't be skeptical if they say, you know, if you're filling out a carrier packet and they say they want to be on the, they want to be a certificate of insurance holder. It's nothing. It's not, it's not a big deal. No one told me this. So I freaked out the first time. Um, but other than that, is there anything else I want to tell you about? Oh, I have a Raycon. Uh, this isn't... Let me see. This is if you guys want to know what a Raycon looks like. Uh, I don't know how much of this I can show you. Uh, let's just do it like this. <clears throat> All right, we'll just go with this. Okay, so this is what I'm hauling, right? Let's see, any numbers on there? No. This is what I'm hauling, beams, 25 by 10 by 478. Don't know what that is. 21 inch, 21 foot I beam? 25,000 pounds. My total weight is 25,000 pounds. Flat rate, miscellaneous equipment, unit price $2,700, right? That's everything. That's everything. $2,700 to go. This is taking me from Michigan to Oklahoma City. Yeah, this one's taking me to Michigan to Oklahoma City. And that is, I think like a thousand miles. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I'll go, just, just do um, Ithaca, Michigan to Oklahoma City. You get the miles, that's the rate that they're paying me. Um, they only get they only added one hundred dollars extra. There was it was actually no, it was actually twenty five, and I wanted three, and I said, "Well, just meet me halfway," and they met me halfway. This load has to be tarped. She said it's four foot drop. I mean, yeah, four foot tarp. She doesn't. She sent me the measurements, and by those measurements, it's like what. So you got height times width times length or height. So four feet, 12, 48 inches. No, that can't be right. Cause 96 is 12, that's like seven. Ooh, I might not be able to do this load. Mm. 
That's gonna suck. Yeah, that's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to call them in the morning. Send me this over, and I should have known better. 84, 96. That's seven, that's six. That's, that's eight feet. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to do that one, homie. Hmm. Oh well. But there's a Raycon. Um, I was gonna tell you about my next load, but I might dead head down to Oklahoma City just to get this next load because it's paying me 34 just to come back home. And it's 863 miles. Oh, but it's picking up out of Wichita, Kansas. So, fudge. All right, man, I'm gonna let y'all go. Dang, I messed this one up.